and um, <clears throat> how you uh, actually um, get files to and from is um, you'll be able to see if you go to my computer and um, um, a disk, right? So how do you get a disk here? Um, so if I go back and if you look at um, uh, control alt zero, um, you go to media, disk get drive and insert disk. And it's gonna look for an ISO, um, sorry, not floppy disk, not this one. The um, media DVD insert disk. So it's gonna look for an ISO image. And I installed something simple on the computer that you can make these. So if you have any folder, let's just delete this one that I, that I made here, if it's not being held by memory, no it's not. So I just made a folder, any folder you can do this to. If you right click, and then go to create ISO. It'll, you know, make the ISO in the same destination, sorry, the same folder, so here it is. So what you can do is you would click it, go open, and then you'll notice that it will kind of load that DVD. Like in this case, I already had that one in, so it's kind of a bad example, but this is how you get files to and from. Essentially, you could create these virtual um, disks with that are ISOs, and um, then you can access it within the VM. It, it would be really nice if you can drag and drop the files, but on XP, it doesn't have um, that functionality. Um, so hopefully these uh, tips will help.